y'all what's up welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome hey girl thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today we're going to be doing a review on this wig that i have on right here right now isn't she lovely let's get into it Hey y'all, so this wig was sent over to me from Julia Hair, and this is what the wig arrived in, a big silk bag, and then the box with the wig and goodies inside. Now, inside they gave wig caps, of course, we love extra wig caps, and then they also gave a little bag with some hair clips, a scarf, it was a headband in there, and some lashes and then um the wig of course but we'll get to that in a second but they also gave like this little jewelry piece and they are having their stores uh fifth anniversary may 7th so they'll have special gifts for y'all but now let's get into the wig this is their honey blonde highlight tea part lace front wig it is in 24 inches this is what the inside of the cap looks like it has your typical construction with the combs on the side combs in the back adjustable straps and like i said this is a t part lace front wig which you know i prefer over like the traditional 13 by 4 or whatever um but yeah so like i said it has the adjustable straps combs on the side comb in the back um they have lace on the back and lace on the front and yeah just get into this curl pattern and length and everything now as you know i like to come and show you what the wig looks like before i co-wash it so that's literally just what i'm doing right here but a close-up of the color and the curl cute right lace is lacing okay so here is the wig after it has been co-washed and air dried i literally only you know co-wash the wig i didn't put any mousse or anything in it yet which i'm probably not going to put mousse in it i'm probably going more so fluff it out and you see it's not rooted so i'm about to try to like finesse this i have my edges pushed back as best as i can so we about to see if i could like finesse this and i have to root it okay so let's try it on okay <laughs> I feel like I look a little crazy right now, but I'm about to get to um, styling and stuff. I don't want to use a hot comb, so I'm about to try to like use the mousse to like lay this down and get this flat. And then I'm going to, I feel like the part needs a little bit of plucking, to be honest with you. It looks a little bit tight. I'm going to see like what it looks like after I put powder on it, but it might need some plucking. So yeah, let's just get into styling. I would like to get to know if you could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me. Hey, you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. And if I don't let you know, then I won't be for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something.
do that that you're nasty up and them nasty up Fix things, fix things, loop it Well all right then, can you see me a cleanest Close when me rockin' at the fucking realest Chi ching ching, in a little with Vives Girl one with his feet, silly can I'm real blessed Can I be a breeze for the head of my penis Coolest breeze that me rockin' a sleeveless Okay, so this is the finished product i did fluff it out a little bit just because i wanted more of like a wild look but you could wear it like super tamed and super defined if you so choose but for me i like you know bigger more poofy kind of like hair this hair is really good quality it feels really nice and really soft like i said i don't have any product in it um i don't have i just put some mousse like on this one because like this little piece right here because it was just a little bit more like poofy than i wanted but it's no product in this hair and it feels very soft and i feel like it looks very soft too this color is done really 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 well um i love this color i feel like for me though the next time i wear this i will root this wig because i just feel less self-conscious with like dark roots so i can like wear my edges out because if the wind blow then you could see like my edges right here like you know so like i will root it so that way i don't have to like feel worried about the wind blowing or my own edges showing if the wind blow or whatever the case may be i always love like these kind of like blonde tones especially in like the warmer months i just feel like it's really necessary and i will say this wig is big hair friendly because i have the straps like adjusted onto each other um and it's fitting pretty snug on my head like this wig is secure on my head oh and let me just say too this is a t-part wig it has like the lace front edge but it's really just kind of like i feel like they call it a t-part wig but i feel like it's a lace part wig with like a lace front edge um which is my uh, that's my preference i prefer like lace part wigs um really lace part wigs without the lace around the edges because i feel like you know i don't want to have to like worry now in this case i appreciate the lace on the edges because i'm able to like create faux like baby hairs but for the most part these are my favorite types of wigs because i don't feel like dealing with all that lace i'm not in the mood so love that this is a t-part wig aka a lace part wig with a lace front edge so yeah y'all i will leave all of the links to the wig and company down in the description box for you to check it out if you're interested once again thanks to julia hair for sending me over this wig and collaborating with your girl on today's video make sure you give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe if you are not subscribed and i will catch you in my next one enjoy the rest of your week your weekend whatever it may be Peace and blessings. Bye.